Hey, yo, what's going on boys Mike here back with another video so before I start I do want to mention if you're someone that doesn't really have interest in the community or like doesn't really care on what's going on just click off this video this one's not going to be for you in this video I'll be talking about my entire thoughts and everything that went down during this update release now I know I haven't uploaded in a while uh, I was kind of on like a break but uh, back on the grind now so we're gonna get content going out so I'll be talking about the developers talking about the community and just talking about the overall update that was brought to beer and Live, of course operation resurgence so with that being said Let's dive straight into this video. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I also have a Discord link which you can talk to me there. It'll be in the comment section. I do want to mention everything in this video is strictly my opinion. I'm going to be saying things I know people will not like. So let me know in the comment section what you don't agree with and we could have a discussion about it. All right, let's dive straight into this one. I'm not going to be siding with the community, nor am I going to be siding the developers here. I'm going to be giving both the developers criticism and the community criticism. And I hope both learn from this and actually hopefully improve themselves for future updates and operations to come. Of course, if you watched my first thoughts and reaction to the update, I thought it was a pretty good update. Was it perfect? Not at all. But for the majority of it, I thought it was pretty good. I understood what they were trying to do. I like some of the new things that they were adding, right? But I want to touch on something, and I think this is very important for everyone, all right? You need to realize, with a, such a big update like this, there's always going to be bugs, and there's always going to be, like, things wrong with the game, all right? This isn't even with BRM5. This is with any other game. If they drop such a massive update, there's always bugs that come with it, regardless of how much testing they could do. Now, before you go comment, Mike, they could have just worked on the bug fixes prior to the update. Let's take a second and realize something here, all right? And I want to make it clear, too, because a lot of new people were coming into my community and just bashing the game. And I know this wasn't regular sort of my community because my community is usually pretty good when it comes to updates, right? They were using feelings over logic. Literally, let's take a second to realize something. So many people were asking for this update to drop for how many months, weeks, days, like, bro... You guys were begging. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not I, I don't blame you. I wanted the update too. But was I? Was I like harassing the developers? Was I, was I being toxic? No. Like I understood something, and that's because they delay the update not for the fact they just want to delay it. They delay it so they can work on the bugs. Literally during the day of the update, the 24th, a lot of you guys are saying, "Mike, it's past the hour. What's going on? Where's the update?" Obviously, I know what they're doing. They're working on the bugs as as we're waiting for it. The reason why they couldn't release it within that 24 hours, it was like an hour late. That's not even that big of a deal. But it was like an hour late, and people were still pissed off about the update. Now, now some of you could argue, why did they mention then, if the update wasn't ready, that it's going to be released in 24 hours? Now, of course, I'm not no developer, but I'm sure something went wrong, and they were trying to tweak it very quickly. I do want to mention though, this update was not one year worth of an update. I hope you realize that the developers actually only worked on it way shorter than what we all thought it was. Um, th this is because this is because of so many things. A lot of you guys can argue they have a life that they they rather prioritize like school work, job, whatever they got going on, family, whatever, right? I kind of like you kind of need to sit back and realize something here. The developers treat this game more of like a job than a passion, and that's. That's something that's not really good for us, nor is it good for them. I kind of want to help rebuild that into making it a passion for them. Because prior to Operation Viper, I think all developers that were working on Beer Room 5 could agree that it was pretty fun. And that it was over what... Like, I'm not saying it wasn't fun for them now. I don't know how they're feeling, of course. I'm sure they could speak for themselves. But I feel like prior to Operation Viper, things were going good for them. And things were... They were a lot happier. I feel like they were a lot more happier with the community and the game itself. And, um... Ever since the riot started. Now, of course, if you're a new player, you have no clue what I'm talking about. But I played this game in the end dev part where it showed it at the top left, the old, old map. You know what I'm saying? The docks, the Russian base, whatever, right? I've seen the game transition, right? Throw all these operations. They were wonderful. Everyone loved it. Nightfall was cool. Everything was cool. Daybreak, Aftermath, right? And then we got to Operation Viper. Oh my god. That was the first time. That was literally the first time. The community rioted, and that was tough. That was tough. It could have been Nightfall, too, with weekly updates. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure Viper was probably the worst one out of everything, right? Now, ever since that happened, that kind of, like, stunt the developers. And what I mean by that is that kind of, like, broke that, like, barrier slash bridge between the community and the developers. And it hasn't been fixed, obviously, since then. And I think we could still do something to fix it. I'm trying my best to, like, reunite everyone together now of course not everyone's gonna agree with each other on everything but you could have a community that has different opinions 
but it's still a nice community. The problem with this is people have different opinions and they act like animals about it, bro. Literally, they act like animals and that doesn't help no one. That just makes themselves look stupid when you have young kids. And not even young kids, people of all ages, bro. Literally throwing a temper tantrum about something that could have easily been fixed or reworded in a proper way. Because of this gap that the community has with the developers, the development towards the community, as in like the leaks to devlogs, they're more classified, they're more hidden. Obviously, they don't want to release dates anymore because of backlash, right? That's what I mean by the result of having bad community trust. Now, what the community manager should do, which I want to get to, oh my god, this guy is literally living under a rock, alright? No offense to this kid. Whoever is the community manager of Platinum 5 is doing a terrible job at this, oh my god. I know he could do at least something. He doesn't need to wait on the developers to give him something, to say something to the community, bro. I know he has enough power, at least an announcement, or at least some polls going. Like, you could have, like, even prior to this update, you would have maybe thought he would do, like, a Q&A. You maybe would have thought he would have done, like, a, like, a small statement from the developers that he would go out. Like, he needs to take initiative, and I feel like he's not taking initiative. I think he's waiting on the developers to give him something to do. I could be wrong because I've never talked to this guy. I'm sure none of you guys even know who this guy is, unless you're in like the Discord, of course. But I could I could guarantee you half of you guys don't even know who this guy is on the community manager. And I think he needs to do something before like it gets worse, man. Like I hope he's watching this because you can't really do anything about the past. It's what you do moving forward. And what you should do is maybe a post update poll. Maybe ask them, what did you think of this update? What went wrong during this update? What went right during the update? I'm sure you could set up a section in that Platinum 5 Discord with the text channels, with the announcement, asking them how they felt about it. Even you could ask like other things too, like what would you like to see? Was there something like we could have done better? Like literally you guys get what I'm trying to say here. That's something he should be thinking of, not me. I'm not the community manager of this damn community. That's something, that's his job. That is literally his job to be doing. He needs to be setting things up like that and building that gap, building that relationship, or closing that gap and building that relationship between the developers and the community. It doesn't have to be showing the leaks. It could literally just be like communication, bro. When it comes to Platinum 5, that is the worst problem. That is the biggest problem Platinum 5 has is communication. And like I said, I don't blame the developers, but someone needs to do something. Someone needs to be passionate enough to take initiative and do something because clearly this community manager is not it all right they need someone else i feel like or at least he needs to work on it and uh, help build that uh relationship with the developers and the community and i'm sure if the developers work on the problem or whoever works on the problem instead of running away from it the developers would feel more passionate and they'd enjoy working on this game a lot more than they do currently and i do want to mention going back to the whole update all these bugs all these missing features guys they're going to be re-adding the missing features they're going to be working on these bugs it's not like they're going to run away from this game they're going to obviously roll out some bug fixes and nar has been doing that i've seen him like i said at the start of the video he's posted some update or post update bug fixes so it is being worked on i think a lot of you guys too are actually loving this update now you just had to take a while to get used to and that's okay because it, it's kind of sometimes hard to accept change in the game but i think a lot of you guys are actually liking this update now um sure the menu i'm not oh my god okay let me touch on the menu real quick the menu i could agree with that needs tremendous work oh my god literally i felt i'm not gonna lie when i first seen it i kind of seen what they're trying to do but like they could do better i'm sure they're gonna polish up that uh menu and of course like i said it takes time i'm just giving them the time i understand that the menu needs work and that is something i completely agree with the community it was terrible um it's it's gonna be better though i know it's gonna be better down the road so i'm not too worried about that overall the game though the terrain, the weather, the animations, oh my god. I love the new way to actually purchase a vehicle. Hear me out before you start rioting again, alright? The reason they're doing this is because so many people were sitting on money, including myself, with nothing to spend. With this new vehicle customization update, you could actually use your money towards something and actually customize the vehicle however you'd like. With multiple camos, with multiple turrets, whatever version you'd like for your vehicle. Now you need to realize something too, the A-10 is literally an end game aircraft. It's not meant for a literal new 5 star, that is meant for the like veterans of the game who have nothing else to spend their money on. Now they could finally fly this A-10 and it's meant to be actually challenging, it's not meant to be easy. This game is not meant to be easy. If it was meant to be easy it would be no fun many new players and players that aren't even five stars are complaining about how hard things are to 
achieve and things to purchase for example the vehicles are too pricey they had to lower down the prices because people were complaining about it but this game is meant to be grindy you're meant to grind up cash you're meant to grind up your stars to five stars this game you're not supposed to unlock everything like at two stars the game is meant to be played five stars and for you to go above and beyond five stars to get all that customization you want to get all to have that like freedom of choosing what vehicle you want the purpose of you being two stars is for you to be like damn I wish I could get to five stars. I want to get up there. I want to get that A10. I want to get that ability to spend my money on all this cool stuff in the game. But right now, I can only buy a Jeep because I'm broke. That's how it should be. That's not meant. To, it's not meant to be the other way around where you're at two stars. Yes, I can finally fly this A10. Oh my god. I can finish this game off at two stars. No, you're meant to be playing it for the long term. But that's pretty much it. I'm not going to hold you guys any longer. I hope I touched the majority of the things here. So if you agreed or if you didn't agree, let me know in the comment section down below. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. That being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.